Yes. Or yes. That's the only answer I want to hear. The, the, the beauty of what we can do as um, skilled persuasion experts is to craft our questions in a way so that there is no no available as an answer. So how do we do that? Well, everything about that script is fine. The only difference at the end is we say, you want to sit out here on the porch or can I come in? And what we've done there is we've made the assumption of the appointment just that. We've not given them an option to do the appointment or not. We've given them the option of yes or no to the porch or yes, no to the inside. But that's an acceptable yes, no, because it presumes an appointment. Should I take my shoes off before I come in? And as you look down and start scraping the crap off your shoes, hopefully figuratively, um, the question then is about the shoes on or off. The, the mind of the prospect thinks, well, they, they, you've given them, you've, you've given momentum to getting in the door and the client's now, bat, now thinking about should the shoes be on or off. So their mindset's fixated on something other than the main issue. We've just presumed. This is the difference in how I teach appointment setting versus how I used to. It's pretty much is the number one difference. And what this will do is get you in a lot more doors, okay? And, and it sounds pushy, and this is my objection to it for a long time. Should I take my shoes off before I come in? Sounds pushy, but in actuality, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not. Because people just say, you know what? I'm not really interested. Right? They'll just, if they really don't want you in, they'll say no. And the truth is you couldn't have gotten them probably to say yes anyway. If you've had this momentum in your favor to get in the door and they're like, wow, no. Yeah, what are you going to say to get this guy to open the door at that point, right? But well, who will let you in the door is the one person, the one third of people who would let anybody in the door. And trust me, still in 2021, almost 2022, they're out there. But where this is beautiful is for those middle third, where they may or may not do it. They're a little hesitant. They're a little unsure. This under, this disguised momentum to get you in the door will convert more of those then the, may I have permission to come in your house? Yes or no? Okay. And again, what is our, I mentioned this a couple of times, but I, I like to think about our sales process as the rule of thirds. It's always worth remembering. If you think about your pie of, you know, a pie, you know, it's that time of year, right? Pie. And you cut it into thirds. One third can be thought of people who will always buy from anybody. Another third of people are people who will buy, will never buy from anybody, okay? And then the middle third are people who may or may not buy depending on the circumstances and variables. The purpose of our scripting is to get the one third who buy from everybody to buy from us, of course, and to as much as possible convert the middle third from buying from us, okay? Because the middle third makes or breaks you as an insurance agent. You can't just sell the laydowns and be successful. The laydowns, by the way, are people who just lay down and sell. They don't put up a fight. They just said, okay, sell me, right? We all get them. Everybody's going to get them. But to depend on them as necessary to success is not enough. You've got to convert people who are unsure or who have hangups or who are a little bit more difficult. And a good script will reflect selling those people as much as the ones who'll buy from everybody. Notice the other side of the strategy is, is not about converting the people who won't buy from anybody. And interesting enough, the best scripts will have people who never buy from you, even if the script is just magic, okay? So we're not concerned about what the one-third of people who are just Ebenezer Scrooges, Grinches, who are just that way, and there's no way you can change their miserable behavior – we're not concerned about that. And in fact, even when you've got a good script, you're still going to hear crap from them. It doesn't immunize you from hearing from the one third that never buy. Um, so the point is, we got to get the leverage where there's an opportunity, not, and not worry about ones where there is none. Okay. 
So in saying all this, I mean, I think it's an important aha moment when I realize this. I'm always going to hear no's. That's like the big takeaway. I'm always going to hear no's. It's never going to not be an issue. Part of hearing yes is hearing no's. And two, some people just can't be convinced. They're at a point in their life where they don't want to hear anything that would challenge their state of affairs or perception on life. They, they have such uh, tumultuous conditions that they wouldn't let a stranger in their house or do business with a stranger on the phone. You know, I can't save a person who doesn't want to be saved, right? So I'm not going to concern myself with people who are in that mindset and neither should you. It'll drive you crazy. You have to accept that some people just can't be saved or won't be saved. And where you should intend, intend or exception, the exception is, is to focus your attention on those who might be saved or who might be helped or who might have an open mind. And again, I believe our script does a good job of capturing as much of that one third that is possible and turning their mind from whatever their hang up is to happy, satisfied customers. So anyways, I, I wanted to say that as a side note, I think it's a good philosophy to think of when you work leads, sell any kind of insurance. You're always going to hear no's because there's always people who never buy. You're always going to make sales to the easy people, but it's the middle third that may or may not do it that makes or breaks you. And the way that you get to that is by changing these little dynamics in your script from, from a permission-based approach around the appointment to then an assumptive I'm coming in. It's just a matter of if, are my shoes on or off? Makes a huge difference.